One thing that's going to really determine how far you can progress in solo leveling your rise as you guys are playing this game is your artifacts. Artifacts are one of the most important resources in the entire game and they are just vital to progression as it gets harder and harder in some of the stages you're going to take on so for today's video we're going to talk about the importance of the artifacts i'm going to recommend some artifact sets for you guys to work on as well when you get them and also we're going to talk about a little sneaky trick you can do with artifact sets as it pertains to getting more gold because these things are pretty gold intensive if you're new here, my name is Deep Free. We do uh, Soul Leveling Rise content here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe as well. About 85% of you guys that are new to the channel are not subscribing. So be sure to subscribe for more content like this if you enjoy Solo Leveling Rise. So the first thing I want to kind of mention is, like I said, the importance of artifacts. Artifacts are something that you can equip on not just Sung Jin Woo. You can put these on any character. So keep that in mind. As you are working on your characters, improving your characters, trying to take on harder pieces of content, you will need the artifact set. Now, the thing about artifacts that's so important is, for one, you get the standard, like if you've played any other game ever that has a system like this, you know, you get the standard set effects stuff. So for two pieces of the same set, you get that. And then for four pieces, you get the extra bonus as well. So, you know, you're getting crit rate, crit damage with this specific set. Uh, this, so like, I'll talk about why I chose this set in a minute, but obviously it can be much better. Uh, and then the expert is going to be these two. And then you unlock these two by clearing a certain chapter. I'm not sure. And then I'll unlock these next two once I clear chapter 12. And when you get those last two, so the, the full four on the right side, that's when things really take off, right? But there are also extra set bonuses for the right side pieces as well. And what winds up happening is you start getting a ton of additional stats, yes. But then these also have their own effects built in. So aside from the set bonus, look at this. Uh, attack up, right? Another 6% to attack. Crit hit rate bonus of another 328%, or 320, excuse me, to that uh, stat there. Another 3% HP, some damage reduction, and obviously you can take these artifacts and you can upgrade them, and everything pertaining to them, you know, just kind of gets better, right? So this one here, it gives you additional defense, it gives attack, additional HP, MP, things like that. So ultimately, when you start looking at, and we can pull up the artifact set here, when you start looking at some of the higher rarity and stronger artifact pieces, uh, the stat gain is going to be pretty massive on these. In fact, I don't have any right there. Let me actually go back to my hunters. Uh, I've been mostly just kind of automatically equipping them. I haven't really gone through and thought about it all too much. But look at this. We're getting some extra stuff here. So additional defense. This one isn't even upgraded, by the way. Well, we can open this upgraded one. Defense penetration at 1230 things like that. So they also do have a score on them I think this goes from 1 to 100 here for the equipment piece um, That'll tell you how strong of it is now the problem with this system is the same as it is in any other game And you if you if you know this system you get the point already The problem with this system is that these are randomized roles and the way I see it currently is that you can't actually go in and say I want to take this MP consumption rate off for, for whatever reason in other games, you can maybe re-roll that slot specifically. In this game, there's not a system for that yet. This game needs a number of like quality of life changes already, which is funny considering the game's releasing in 2024, you would think they would know these things. But nonetheless, that's one of the things that I haven't seen already be a part of the game. So unfortunately, that's one thing that we're waiting for. But uh, that basically means that it could be a chore to try to upgrade these, right? So um, keep that in mind. Now, another thing about artifacts is as you farm these, you're going to inevitably get a ton of extra ones that maybe don't fit any sets that you like or are not very strong or whatever. And so what you can do is you can come here and you can just sell these off. Now, unfortunately, if you try to sell them, uh, it's not the craziest amount of amount of resources. I think maybe if it's leveled up to some degree, maybe the number goes up. In fact, I can test that now. Let's just do it really quick. This one's at 1000, but this requires gold to level these up. And I'll talk about upgrading these in a minute when I talk about which ones you should be working on. Uh, we'll see actually live if this improved. Okay, so it, it did give me more back, but that's because I put more into it. So it's not really worth it. What I would recommend is just selling them by default and you'd get a thousand uh, gold that way. And that's one of the more consistent ways to get gold because speaking of quality of life, this game, I don't know how they launched this game. Well, it's not officially out everywhere yet. So maybe it'll be out, you know, when the game officially launches everywhere. But I, right now, I'm not sure how this game doesn't already have like a dungeon specifically for gold. Just even if it's just once a day, 100K, like something like that. I just don't know how that, how this game with the gold importance it has 
doesn't have that already but that's one of the most important ways to get gold i'm pretty sure that number goes up as you hit some higher rarity pieces as well let's see or not <laughs> so anyway just sell the artifacts if you don't need them so moving on from there i've talked about the importance and if it wasn't clear the importance is because the stat gain right the stat gain is massive and also the effects is massive right so the characters start getting more criticals or a bunch of other things they do a litany of things like this one right here i, I really like it when tagging out increases the attack of you and your team members by 12 percent for 10 seconds and if you have a four set of this increases the attack increase effect goes to uh 28 from 12. this is a crazy set in my opinion so like i'm gonna talk about recommending some sets but like and obviously you have to clear chapter 12 to get to the point where you can put four of these sets on four of these pieces like the necklace the earrings the ring and bracelet or whatever that is you have to get to chapter 12 to do this but that's going to be insane particularly if you put like three of these on your team <laughs> you see what i'm saying like uh you you're going to be able to constantly just stack this bonus on everybody for the duration of the time it's up so that's going to be really really strong it's also going to be particularly strong in conjunction with the hunter that has an attack boost for allies uh or things like that like libora or like defense debuffs like beck you know like these characters are going to be really really strong with that as well as a passive set and that's just one of the many artifact sets in the game so let's go ahead from here and break down some of the other ones as i'm sitting here thinking about which ones i want to recommend to you guys i'm realizing just how much variance there is with this there's just so much possibilities for example on paper this one sounds kind of whatever but it actually winds up being really really strong so it says increases skill mp consumption rate by 20 percent, so it makes it cost 20 percent more mp to use your skills however and i'm gonna factor in the four piece set of this um it increases the damage dealt by 18 percent and decreases the skill cooldown reduction of basic skills to 18 percent so the basic skills are the skill one and skill two just you know the the non-ultimate but non-regular attack skills you know just the other skills so what happens here ultimately is it costs more to use them but their cooldown to, to, to use them consistently goes way down and you get more damage so like this in particular in conjunction with an artifact set that increases your mp cons mp or even reduces your mp consumption or an effect on some of these artifacts themselves that increases your mp reduces your mp cost things like that could be super good and that's what i mean by just a lot of variants now to totally min max if you were to use this in fours i would recommend trying to get all these individual pieces primarily with attack stats on them because that's just going to lead to the most damage attack is the single most important stat in the entire game but my point is is that there's a shit ton excuse me a ton of customization with these because you have the opportunity to run multiple sets maybe you run two of this two of that two of this two of that right because you got eight slots right um also maybe you run four of this and then two of this and then two of the other piece and then depending on which effects are on them maybe that opens up a whole other avenue for you so i'm sitting here thinking about this and i'm writing down which ones i like and i'm hitting this roadblock like oh <laughs> so i guess the key takeaway i want to just give you guys right now is that there is no definitive best set and you may have noticed this when i talked about in other videos which uh stats for Jinu, which which and i talked about weapons things like that there is no definitive this or that is the best and the reason why is because it's totally dependent on the character all of those things it's also de well, okay so in the case of Jinu, it's a little different it's dependent on his weapon right because he's got two weapons they have different focuses uh if you if you want to get a crit set you know that's extremely good on things like the plum sword but maybe not as good on things like the little fire mace thing like it, it's totally something that varies from character to character uh a character like kim chul maybe you want to give him because he's such a defense character things in his passives and all that stuff are predicated on like his defense that like right here 40, 484 percent of the user's defense like you want to give him a set that increases his defense because all of his stuff is predicated on his defense or his ability to tank you know things like that maybe you can give him that so like it, it's totally dependent on which character we're talking about so what i would implore for you to do in terms of finding out which set is the best for your character is to answer a simple question what is the character's designated playstyle? every single character in the game has a designated playstyle. 
that could boil down to the character being a tanker like this guy or like or like um big you know being a tank as well or this guy being an attacker some of the characters wind up doing uh breaks a lot things like that but what is their dedicated play style and try to bounce off of that like i just mentioned read the kit of the character kim chul wants to have a ton of a defensive stat let's go back over to the uh codex and we'll take a look at some more but you know what i'm gonna actually just kind of change the focus from here and i'll give you guys a little bit more of a raw because i'm like reading these and trying to point them out to you is just a little different i already talked about this set i actually really like this one um putting it on multiple characters i think could be extremely strong this is the one where you switch out you get extra damage for everybody <laughs> in my opinion that just sounds so insane but look at this one when landing a critical hit it has a 25 percent chance to increase attack by 100 or by excuse me by 100 by almost one percent stacking up to a hundred times and then if you have four of them it increases the activation rate to 50 percent and attack increase to 1.6 so this is extremely good on a character like that's going to come out like uh uh, Chahain, where she just does a crap ton of hits, is super predicated on critical hits. She does all of that. So when you land a crit, there's a chance for this character to consistently get, with four of these, another almost 2% additional attack up to 100 stacks. That is going to add up like crazy, right? I don't know what the, the average number is. The average number may be something around like 30%, but that's still insane, right? And then again, you factor in the effects of the artifact themselves. <clears throat> but then this one here, when the user has 50% or less HP, their damage dealt increases by 15% with two of them and with four. Uh, when the user has 70% or less HP, the damage dealt increases to 30%. This one is gonna be super straightforward and very strong. This one is gonna be really good with that weapon, that, that the scythe weapon that pulls your life off of you. It's also gonna be really good with any hunter that functions well with low HP thresholds. It's not gonna synergize great with a ton of healing and things like that and it's not going to synergize great with the character that's using a healing or, or shield weapon that prevents damage or allies that can do those things as well you you get the point right but anyway we'll continue on with the same track so executioner when attacking enemies with 40 percent or less hp increases damage dealt by eight percent uh and then so the fourth set of this is so it's the inverse <laughs> uh you have to be hitting the enemies with low hp this one is just naturally better because you have to be hitting enemies so when the enemy is at 70% or less HP, your damage increases by 20%. This one's actually insane because you can actually control this. The bosses most of the time are not healing, things like that. This one is actually insane in my opinion. They're both really good, but the, the one where it's predicated on the opponents is really strong because it means that you're just going to do so much more damage. Your ultimates, things like that are going to just do so much more damage as the boss gets closer to defeat. 70% is such a high threshold uh, with four of these as opposed to 40% with two increases attack by five percent for four seconds when landing a critical hit uh, and then if you have four of them the attack increases uh effect stack maximum increases to four okay so it's login time i'm gonna get my login bonus right now uh that is from the pack i think that one is as well the like little shop pack that's like whatever dollars depending on where you're at uh so what was it the four set the attack increase effects stacks max maximum increases to four instant so you can actually pick up this one's actually interesting it doesn't naturally have any stacks it just says increase attack by five percent for four seconds when landing a crit and the cooldown is one second that's that's extremely consistent but when you have four of them it stacks up to four times so you can land four crits uh and then that means you're gonna get 20 percent attack increase for four seconds and then after one second it'll reset that's actually really strong again on characters with a crit focus or the demon the, the plum sword things like that uh the concentration of firepower so this one is the just this one is just the same one right yeah so there's i'm now going to start looping to the same items so we've already kind of covered most ironically we've already covered we've actually no 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 we've actually covered all of the right pieces there's only six sets there's only six sets is what it looks like so that's good uh three so yeah they're the exact same items cool uh so six sets of four items so we've covered all of those and we'll be able to mostly do the same thing here by looking at the boots there's only eight pieces uh, or eight sets for the rest of the gear in the game so it's actually going to be easier than i thought it was looking at the sheer list is pretty crazy so this is the left side right so the destroyer gear here your power can some power gauge acquisition rate is increases by 20 percent uh when the battle starts if you have four of them charges power gauge by 50 percent and additionally increases the player and party's power okay this one's really in 
it, so if I'm understanding correctly, this one, so the power gauge is based on your QTE. No, 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 it's the core attack. It's the core attack. Actually, core attacks are good. And on some characters, core attacks are vital to what they're trying to do. But on some characters, it's not. Uh, if I have this correct with that mechanic, correct me if I'm mistaken, then this isn't as good as I thought it was initially because I was thinking it was for QTE. Uh, if it is for QTE, that's a big deal. The next one here. Oh, this one's really straightforward. Speaking of core attack, increases basic attack by 18%. The four set increases core attack damage by 18%. And when the attack hits, charges core gauge. Okay, so no, there's a whole separate gauge. Okay. So this one is for QTE, right? <clears throat> there's so many like little... You can't even really like see these things, can you? I don't believe you can. Um, anyway, because the game just tells you when they're available. So anyway, if you're keeping track at home, this one increases basic attack by 18%. And then also with four of them increases the core attack. They are intertwined. The core attack is basically just an enhanced version of your basic attack. Uh, after you spam the basic attack so many times, it'll just automatically do the core attack. Some people are confused about how that mechanic works. It'll just automatically do it. And when it hits, it charges the core gauge even more, which means you're gonna get a second core attack after that much faster. The core attack is typically gonna be much stronger. And some characters like the Alicia chick that's coming out soon uh, are really predicated on their basic and core attacks. And they have synergies that intertwine a lot with the rest of their kit by landing core attacks. So this one's extremely strong, especially if you like spamming basic hits. This one's also really strong on the Demon Plum Sword set, where it's, I believe the way that that work and weapon works is you wanna do the uh, full bloom and then just spam basics, right? <laughs> so this one's gonna be really strong. You know what you could do? You could put this set on and then one of the, the right, right side piece, you wanna put on one of the ones that does crit, right? That could be insane. I mean, you could still also just do full attack, but I think if you do crit on the right side, yeah, this one. Oh, that could be disgusting. That could be disgusting. All right, let's look at the next set here. Uh, so this one is for increases the user's attack by 5%. And then also for the four set when attacking increases 15, or excuse me, ignores 15% of the target's defense and attacks. So defense, I don't know how it works. And I know how it works, but I don't know the calculation on paper in theory ignoring defense having a penetration mechanic as they called it in some other games is a piercing mechanic is better than just flat attack increase because the way a lot of attack works in, in games is that it's attack stat minus opponent's defense stat or divided by things like that and that's where you get your damage number it just again depends on the game's formula for that stuff i don't know this game who knew um so I'm not sure if this one just naturally winds up being better. I think though this one does edge out the other piece we just looked at because it just says user's attack, which means it would impact the skills, the ultimate QTEs, everything. The other one does not. It just is basic and core attack. So this one, if you want just more of a general attack build, this one is better. And I think with the four set ignoring defense, uh, it's, it's just gonna hit extremely hard. Ignoring 15% of defense is gonna be really good. So that may be, that may be the single best offensive set for the left side that we so this oh i like this one so this one was fun um this one increases the ultimate skill damage and then decreases the ultimate skills cooldown <laughs> this one is so cheesy because the ultimate automatically or, or excuse me obviously is the hardest hitting move that you have in your arsenal and it's extremely hard to use most of the time it just takes a while to get it decreases the skill cooldown gauge for that is really nice however don't you i have to still look into the ultimate don't you still have to fill that gauge up anyway so wouldn't it just have no cooldown but not be ready to use isn't that how that one works i have to look into that one one a little bit more and maybe that's maybe that's the gauge the power consumption or whatever that we were looking at earlier i mean this set can't work with that one you could you could put a two and two to get the damage i guess but if you don't run four you're not getting the skill this one here the user's hp increases by eight percent and then the fourth set decreases the user's attack by 8%, but, in, but increases the team member's attack. So this is one I would put on a healer. Um, I wouldn't use the two of this. I would only use the four. This is one I would put on a healer that isn't going to do much damage anyway, like Juhi or like uh, Yunggu, where they just don't really do a lot of damage no matter what you do. There's no point trying to max out their attack. Uh, I, well, okay, Byunggu and probably Juhi also. 
they have stuff that scales off of their attack stat so their own individual stuff will just get worse but i think with this as a four set on a character like that uh giving them more longevity with the hp increase and then increasing the team attack and then also putting on that other set that i talked about i like uh, talked about liking from the right side that when they switch out they do extra support for allies could also be super duper strong and again we're seeing a trend where it's just attack it's not saying you know specific skills and again like i just mentioned with the last set that's also very bad for this character that's wearing that piece but it is what it is this one's funny shield effects is increased by 30 percent. this is a standard equip set for like only so many characters like i mentioned before some weapons for janu give him shields things like that this is crazy on those types of sets uh when a team member including the player activates a shield and increases damage dealt by 10 percent for 10 seconds so they'll even give you a little bit more damage if you have a shield so this one is like super good on some of the defensive like SRs and stuff in the game that are getting shield like Kim Chul and I believe uh, Jin Ho does as well. Um, but the shield effect increases by 30%. What that means is that if you have a shield, typically it scales off of something, your attack or defense, whatever. And it's going to say uh, a percentage of your max HP, you know, it'll give you 20%. Well, it's going to give it another 30% here. So that's actually really strong for shields and i'm pretty sure i've got to test this as well a lot of testing needs to be done i'm pretty sure if you get hit with a shield on that does not count against those missions that say take damage less than 20 times or whatever uh because you didn't take damage so if anyone can confirm let me know i think this is our last set or one of our last sets obviously uh solid analysis your damage dealt to enemies in the break state increases by 15 percent when attacking the weakness attribute increases break effect okay so the the this is an extremely good one this is an extremely good set break is so important in so many stages of this game it's not even funny so that's why i also rate characters like um uh bake you know that has a high break rate as a very strong character this is crazy on him too because he's going to be breaking much more consistently now it is when he has a weakness attribute bonus meaning that he's got the type advantage but nonetheless it's so strong and then the damage increases crit. So i would put this on him easy i think this is the last one for him. uh yeah it is okay so toughness so you saw this in the beginning of the video this is the one i had on Jinu. i'm actually if i can't get a higher rarity set of this i'm just going to take it off it's good on a critical set you get critical hit rate and damage that's good anytime you can get that combination that's amazing no matter what game you're playing but without the base attack increase i wouldn't really worry about it what i think you probably want to do with this one is i think you want to hybridize it you want to pair it with s2 in my opinion the damage is amazing but i think if you could take two of those for the increased crit chance and pair it with any another uh piece of gear or another two set of gear that increases attack you'd be good right so like two of those or two of these with the demon plum sword would be really really strong and if it wasn't clear you can't put four of these on you know four of these and then two of the other ones you can't do that you have to have those four slots on the side on the right side reserved for those other pieces of jewelry so or the pieces of jewelry as opposed to the equipment um so you could do two and two and then mix it with like another two of these and then or maybe four of these if you wanted to like things like that that's what i mentioned in the very beginning where i said that i think that this hybridization is going to be really really strong but the base four sets are really good too it just ultimately comes down to what you're using in terms of the artifact set so i hope this is a longer video but i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you made it through the entirety of the video be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this give me some topics to discuss down below and other ones that i've already done should be on the screen currently